Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how to easily compress video files while maintaining quality. Let's first take a look at a comparison before and after compression. Here are two video files. The original file is 583 megabytes and after compression, it's reduced to 140 megabytes, shrinking the size by more than four times. I used a video compression software called Handbrake. What is Handbrake? Handbrake is a free and open source video compression tool specifically designed to convert videos into various formats, reducing file size. It supports multiple output formats and provides various compression options, such as adjusting resolution, quality, and codec. This allows you to optimize videos to save space or improve playback compatibility. Handbrake supports three main file formats. 1. MP4 2. MKV 3. WEBM Today we will choose MP4 because it is the most popular and fits our needs. Now, let's get started. First, search for Handbrake on Google. Then you will find this download page. Download and install this free application. It supports both Windows and Mac systems. After the compression process is complete, the file size will be significantly reduced, but the video quality will remain stable. Now we open the Handbrake application. This is the interface you will see the first time you open it. Next, upload the video file you want to compress. You can either upload a single file or drag and drop an entire folder into the interface. I will demonstrate by selecting a single file. Next, I will guide you through the seven main settings for compressing videos. 1. Preset. 2. Summary. 3. Video 3.1 frame rate, FPS, 3.2 constant quality 3.3 encoder options. 4. Save as. 5. When done. 6. Start in code. 7. Save new preset. You can leave the remaining settings as default. Adjust each tab settings as needed to find the parameters that suit you best. We have uploaded a video file of 8.01 megabytes. Now let's take a look at a few key settings in the Handbrake main interface. At this point we are already on Handbrake's homepage. Let's go through and check the settings one by one. 1. Preset. We keep the system default, Fast 10 30p30. 30. 2. Summary. Keep the format as MP4 and check web optimized. 3. Video. Frame rate. Select same as source and check constant frame rate. As for constant quality, we choose to keep the system default number of 22. Encoder options, we choose to keep it as fast. I will explain this in more detail shortly. 4. Save as, select the location to save the compressed file. You can click the Browse button to choose where the compressed video file will be saved. 5. When done, we can choose to quit handbrake once the compression is complete. 6. At this point we can click Start and Code to begin compression. After the video compression was completed, the file size reduced from 8.01 MB to 4.70 MB, shrinking by 3.31 MB, and this is just for a 10 second video. Next, I will explain each of the 7 key settings one by one. 1. Preset. There are various preset options available for you to choose from based on your needs. Here I am using the system's default settings. Once you are satisfied with the compression results, you can save these settings as a preset for quick use next time. 2. Summary. Keep the format as MP4 and check web optimized. 3.1 frame rate. Select same as source and check constant frame rate. 3.2 constant quality. You can click on it to see detailed explanations. Lower values correspond to higher quality. So small decreases in value will result in progressively larger increases in the resulting file size. It is recommended to set SD standard definition between 18 and 20 and HD high definition between 20 and 23. 3.3 encoder options, adjust according to your needs. 
adjust the encoder settings to balance between compression efficiency and encoding speed. Generally you should set this option to the slowest speed you can tolerate, as slower settings will result in better quality or smaller files. Conversely it will also increase the video size. 4. Save as click the browse button to choose the save location for the compressed file. 5. When done, there are several options available here. I choose quit handbrake, but you can select based on your own needs. For example you can choose shut down or log off when done. 6. Start encode. Once you're ready click start encode to begin the encoding process. The screen will display the encoding progress percentage, percent symbol and the remaining time, helping you estimate the completion time. The compression time will vary depending on the size of your video. 7. Save new preset. You can save these settings as a preset for future use. After the compression is complete, you can compare the differences between the two video files. Although the duration remains the same, the compression rate depends on the settings you chose. If you're not satisfied with the result, you can adjust the preset settings and compress again. That's all for today's sharing. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to let me know in the comments section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. See you next time.